The Royals playing their first home game of 2013, hosting the Minnesota Twins, the 40th anniversary of recently renovated Kauffman Stadium. George Brett, the Hall of Famer on hand. Top one, Joe Maurer is going to single off of Irvin Santana. That places him in sole possession of sixth place on the Minnesota all-time hit list as he passes Gary Gaetti. His 1,277th hit, and it would matter as later in the inning, Ryan Domit with a two-out single. In comes Maurer, and the Twins take a 1-0 lead against Santana, but that's about all Santana gave up in this one. Going up against Kevin Correa, who is very good as well. Bottom five gets Chris Getz to hit into the 4-6-3 twin killing. Correa goes 7-3 and a third in this one. Back to Santana, top six, still a 1-0 game. Puts down Justin Morneau, then gets Aaron Hicks as well. Santana goes eight innings, strikes out seven, allows one run on eight hits. But the Royals, they need some offense in front of their home crowd for the first time this year. Still 1-0, bottom eight. Alex Gordon up at the plate with Lorenzo Cain at third. Base hit right center field. All right, get him on, get him over, get him in. Textbook. So the Royals tie the game up at one. Next up, it's Alcides Escobar with Gordon running on the pitch. And they're going to try the hit and run, and Escobar drives it down into the corner. Alex, it's going to be waved home. The Royals take the lead in the eighth inning. That would be all for Correa. Jared Burton would come on, and after a wild pitch, moved Escobar to third. Billy Butler. Comes through with an RBI single. And Escobar comes in. Royals take a 3-1 lead. And they go to the ninth inning. They hand the ball to Aaron Crow with the potential tying run at the plate. Gets Brian Dozier to hit into the 5-4-3 double play. And the Royals with a 3-1 win in their home opener. Crow with his first save of the season. Santana, his first win as a Royal. And KC improves to 4-3.